Hey guys, my name is Iman and in this video I'm going to show you a simple application of filter banks. For this example, let's say we have this signal in time domain. This signal consists of four sinusoidal functions. If you look at this signal in the frequency domain, we have something like this. So the previous figure was in time domain. Now I'm going to show you the signal in the frequency domain. So let me zoom out. So this is the signal in the frequency domain. As I said, the original signal consists of four sinusoidal functions or four sinusoidal waves. That's why we have four dominant components here. By using filter bank, I'm going to process this signal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the amplitude for this component by two, and I'm going to reject this component. I'm going to keep this component unchanged, and I'm going to uh, multiply the amplitude for this one by half. Or I'm going to attenuate this component. Again, multiply this one by 2, reject this one, keep this one unchanged, and multiply this one by half. As you can see, we have four components. That's why I use a uniform filter bank with four sub-bands. Uh, actually, before I explain this one, let me show you the filter bank. In order to design filter bank, I use this uh, GUI or this toolbox. FBD stands for filter bank design. This filter bank is uh, this GUI is available on Matwork, and if you want to download it, just click on the link that I provided below and make sure that you follow all the steps. I already downloaded uh, the toolbox and designed uh, the filter bank with four subbands. These are analysis filter and synthesis filters, and as you can see, distortion and aliasing are very small, which means the error is close to zero. Now, I already, as I said, I already, I already designed uh, a uniform filter bank with four subbands, and I already exported uh, the filters. Now, let's go back to this figure again. So we have four subbands, four analysis filters. And then we do downsampling by 4, and we have a processing unit. You know, in general, processing unit is something complicated. But in this example, it's very simple. It's just multiplier. So we multiply this component by 2. We multiply this component by 0. We multiply this component by 1 because we want to keep it unchanged. And we multiply this component by half. So that's our processing unit. And after that, we do upsampling to go back to the original uh, sampling frequency and then we use synthesis filters and then we add them up the output to create the final output. That's it. Now let me show you the results. Again, I want to process this signal, multiply by 2, multiply by half, keep this one unchanged and reject this component. Actually I already wrote a very simple MATLAB code which is available for you to download just Again, click on the link that I provided below to download this simple M file. It's very well commented, and you can follow all the steps. But uh, as a simple uh, explanation, as I said, our signal consists of four sinusoidal functions. We have four sinusoidal functions for f with four different frequencies, and I'm using filter bank uh, to process the signal. So at the beginning, I process the input with analysis filter, and then I do downsampling by 4, and then I use processing unit to pass or reject each component, and then I do upsampling uh, filter with synthesis filters, and then I add them up to, f uh, to create the final output. Now, let's take a look at the signal input and output in the frequency domain. The blue one is input and the red one is output. As you can see, this component is multiplied by 2. And as you can see, this component has been rejected. This component is almost unchanged. And this component, the amplitude is multiplied by half. So that's how we processed the signal using filter bank. I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you have any question, please send me an email. Thanks.